Meanwhile, Russia continued its bombardment of Ukraine early Wednesday, launching a deadly airstrike at the city of Lviv. As Benjamin Hall reports, it comes as Ukraine's government sees a major shakeup in their own leadership. Russian forces launching another deadly airstrike overnight in the western Ukrainian city of Lviv, killing multiple people and damaging several buildings. The attack comes as Ukraine is reeling from the deaths of dozens of people in the city of Poltova on Tuesday. Officials say two ballistic missiles hit a military academy and a hospital, leaving hundreds of others injured in one of the deadliest attacks since the start of the war. We know that there are people under the rubble of the destroyed building. Everything is being done to save as many lives as possible. As the fighting grinds on, the U.S. is reportedly close to supplying Ukraine with long-range cruise missiles that could reach deep into Russian territory. It comes as President Volodymyr Zelensky renews his calls for the West to lift restrictions on long-range weapons, though defense officials say for now their policy has not changed. We remain committed to supporting Ukraine's ability to defend itself and to protect its sovereign territory, uh, as well as uh, build its uh, ability to deter against future Russian aggression. Meanwhile, Ukraine's government is undergoing its largest shakeup since the start of the war. On Wednesday, the country's foreign minister, Dmitry Kubela, submitted his resignation. Ukrainian officials say more than 50% of the cabinet will undergo changes in the coming days. Zelensky Zelensky says he hopes the changes will strengthen the government ahead of what could be a difficult winter. In London, Benjamin Hall, Fox News.